I'll be showing six new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes the return of custom images and announcements, forwarding messages, meeting improvements, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is that custom images have returned for posts in the new Microsoft Teams. This disappeared for a little while during the switch over to the new Teams, and now it is rolled back out globally. So I've got a post right here, and I'm gonna click this button and make it into an announcement. Now I could type an announcement, but instead, I'd like to upload a custom image. And this has been especially popular with educators. I'll go right here and click this button. Just a note, this is a designer icon. I've got Teams Premium, or if you have Copilot, you'll get the full Microsoft designer and AI powered image creation. But I'm just gonna show the basic one right here. I'm gonna click add image, and then I'm gonna select an image just like you could before and hit okay. And that's what my image is gonna look like. So I'll select this and hit done. And there is my custom banner. Now for those of you that have Designer, which is coming with Copilot or Teams Premium, I can go into here and type something else, a celebration, and I can pull up some different options right here and hit done. So that is a little more advanced option, but the core of uploading custom images has returned to the new Teams. The second new feature is a little bit of an update to the post UI in Teams Posts. So I will click start a post right here and you'll see it's been vastly simplified along the bottom. There's no longer like eight different options. We keep it really simple. You've got your nice emoji and GIFs options right here that have always been there. You've got the loop component if you wanna start one of those. And then everything else is behind the plus. So if you hit plus, you'll have things like attaching a file, set it to high priority, all your different apps, and you can search across the top right here. So it's just a nice simplification so you're not overwhelmed with too many buttons and choices inside of your posts. The third new feature is the ability to forward messages. I'll go into the chat right here, and I'm in my TPS Report Besties group chat. Now there's a nice TPS Report picture here, and I wanna forward this message to someone else. If I hover, I'll get that three dot menu, and I can choose forward. This pops up a dialog, and it shows that message from the chat. Now I can enter a name, an email, or a group. So I'm gonna enter Alex Wilbur, and I'm gonna forward this message directly to Alex. So let's hit forward. Okay, that is sent to Alex. Now you'll note I've got a little chat over here with Alex, and it just turned bold. So let's go into the chat with Alex, and there we go. There is the forwarded message, and there's a little forward icon next to it, and you can see that Mike Tholfson forwarded this message. The fourth new feature is improvement to audio and video controls in Teams meetings. So I'm going to join this meeting. Up at the top, you're gonna to see these little icons, camera and mic, and they've been there before, but now they're little drop down arrows to make it really easy to change settings. So for microphone, when I click the arrow, you see all these options, speaker, microphone, spatial audio, noise suppression, and more audio settings. Close this. Same with camera. If I drop this arrow down, you're gonna see a preview. Hey, there's me with a spaceship in the background. I can switch my cameras. My backgrounds are right here, adjusting brightness. And if I wanna to go to more video and settings, I just go here and I can see all those same settings. So it's really handy, just very easy to click and see all the different options that you have right there. The fifth new feature is improvements to annotations in a Teams meeting. What I'll do is click the share button here and I'm gonna share my entire screen. Immediately the annotation toolbar pops up automatically. It's right there. And I'm gonna click on the little pen that says annotate. Now I'm in annotation mode. It's gonna share for everyone. And there's a the little whiteboard set of options. Now we've added a laser pointer right here. That's been a top request. And I'm going here and I'm using the laser pointer to trace around different things. And that's temporary, it'll go away. Someone's reacting with their heart. I can also choose different pens. Maybe I'm gonna choose a highlighter right here. And now what I'm gonna do is go and highlight something on the screen. So I'll go here and we'll do a little highlight. Oh, look, someone else, Faith right there, looks like she just drew something right around and Faith has a little arrow pointing to her circle. The sixth new feature is the ability to set your team status directly from the right click on the taskbar. I'm in OneNote here, I'm heads down on planning my TPS report strategy and the team offsite. And I wanna be able to change my status from available to do not disturb. At the bottom, you're gonna see Teams has a nice little green checkbox. I'm gonna right click and I have all my different options here. I'm gonna set this to do not disturb because it is an important TPS report offsite strategy. And you can see all the other options are here as well, even reset status. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.